on guys, BK Vlogs here back with another um, football analysis. Obviously, as you guys know, Sierra Leone have been knocked out of the out of the AFCON 2021 African Cup of Nations to the dispense of Ivory Coast and Equatorial Guinea. We just came out of a 1 0 defeat. We've lost the day 1 0 to Equatorial Guinea. And listen, I can't be more than proud of my country Sierra Leone for what they've done from from where they've come from the progress the progression literally but I'm not happy I'm obviously I'm not happy that we've you know we've been knocked out but also I'm not happy with what I've seen in the aftermath I've seen certain people you know cost cost the uh, what's what's his name Kai Kamara because obviously he's Mr Penny so man of the column, Basta Pekin, all them thing there. Listen, you're not a real fan. If you're cussing him, you need to look at the mirror. You need to actually take a look in the mirror. You're cussing the guy that scored the goal that got us into where we are right now. Yes, he's Mr. Penalty. You win some, you lose some. He's Mr. Penalty. And all I can hear is people calling Basta Pekin, Basta Pekin. Listen, we're not, not the Basta Pekin. Where the cuss are? One and the bastard picking then. I don't talk about now. Literally. You know, some of you guys are just so funny. Like, you need to look at it from a different perspective. That literally, yeah, we have come this far. It is a blessing in disguise that we've even played in our first major tournament since 1996. Appreciate that. Appreciate the games that we played. They've not overdone us. We've been in the games. We drew against Algeria. We drew against Ivory Coast. Ultimately, we have lost to Equatorial Guinea, but we put in 110%. And this is what some people are doing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. When I know Sabi Fubosef, literally. Are you, were you expecting so long to win this tournament? Because it's, it's like, that's what you're trying to say. It's like you're trying to put pressure on this group of players. Some of them have never played with each other. Remember that as well. And then some of you lot are there just bashing these players. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I didn't want to start the video like this, yeah. But it, I had to just address this straight, first of all. Let me get all that negativity out of the way. But listen... To all my so long people then, to all my subscribers out there, when I could show how the body, also the body finds, you get it, don't forget it. Obviously, yes, yeah, Sierra Leone are knocked out of the AFCON 2021. We've been knocked out um, by Equatorial Guinea. I'm just going to go through the lineups of how we started. We had Mohamed Kam in, uh, Kamari Go, uh, Usman Kai Kai, Kevin Wright, Stephen Coker, John Kamar, Kwame Q, uh, Kansu Kamara, Umar Oru, Bangura, Mustafa Bundu. Abu Dumbuya, Musa Kamara, and for Equatorial Guinea they had Engu in goal, Federico and Chema, Ivan Edu, Salvador, Basolo, Nachema, Carlos Martinez, Obana, uh, Jose, Doreen Mejia, Esteban Fernandez, and Pablo Contre. You know what I mean? So, you know, from picking up my notes, obviously, first half, it wasn't, you know, the best of games if I'm being real in the first half not much was happening I would say that Ekater Guinea were controlling the game um, but nothing much was happening until the 15 minutes when Ekater Guinea had a chance uh, and it was Jose de Cumbo or something like that he had a shot which was saved by Kamara um, I believe it went through the legs of one of the Serie Leone players um, and yeah that's what happened in the first 15 minutes after that, pretty much, Equatorial Guinea were controlling the game without really, you know, testing our keeper until the 35th minute where Salvador had like a shot and the sh the, his shot was actually, I think it was going in or it might have been going wide, but at the same time, Bundu cleared it off the line just to make sure, literally, and that's when the pressure started to, um, literally, to come and then... They had a short free kick in the 38th minute. Um, 
they passed it to a guy called Kenneth or something like that. I can't really remember the name of it, of the person. But obviously, um, from the edge of the box, he just whipped it hard. And by the time even Kamara was trying to make the save, it had gone through his hands, literally. And it was 1-0 to Equatorial Guinea. And to be honest, at that stage, Equatorial Guinea deserved to be uh, leading by the odd one goal to no. But you see, in a game of football, if you don't take your chance, it can always come back to bite you. And for me, I always believed, I have belief that so long, if you get one chance, you may score, you get me. But listen, that was the end of the first half from um, you know a game where it was stop, start, stop, start, referee blowing the whistle and all that stuff. You know, to be fair as well, I thought the referee I'm not gonna lie, I thought the referee was poor in this game. Like, really, really poor. It was getting on my nerves, literally. But, you know, enter the second half now. Again, it wasn't like, oh, you know, it wasn't exciting, too tough, you get me? Nothing really much was happening. But then, for a period, like a five, ten minute period, Sirilon finally started to, like, pass the ball, like, make five, six passes. Because we weren't seeing that in the first half. When they were getting forward, Literally, there was no, you know, help with for Kamara. There was, the passing was poor and everything, but we started to spray the ball a bit more. And then we had a chance from a free kick. Cool, because Stephen Cook, I'm going to say, I believe he's like contender to one of the players of the tournament. Especially for Cyril I would say, um, as a defender anyway. So, like, I thought he, he marshaled that defence really well. I thought he led as a leader, you get me, fam? But how am I saying though? Um, yeah, so there's a free kick. Korka got on the head of it. And listen, it was inches away from going in the back of the net from Stephen Korka. But, and also Kai Kamara came from the back, came around the back. All he needed was a touch. But he couldn't reach it. As long as he is, he couldn't reach it, reach the ball. And unfortunately, it remained 1-0 to... Um, to Equatorial Guinea, but you see, that's what I'm saying. One chance, we could, we could, we could score literally. And again, um, yeah, I thought we at that point we were starting to play really well, but we weren't really getting the chances here and there. You know what I mean? And then um, we got a penalty. We got a penalty. Cyril got a penalty in the 86th minute of the game, and guess who was going to step forward? It was Kai Kamara. 37 years of age, Kai Kamara was the guy who scored the winning goal against Benin to get us into this competition. I was going nuts on my live stream, by the way. If you didn't watch it, I was going nuts on my live stream on YouTube. Kai Kamara stepped up to take that penalty. I was thinking he's going to score. It's not like the penalty was poor. It was a really good penalty. He shot it, but the keeper, Jesus, he saved it. He saved it, and I felt like that was the moment gone. I felt like that was the moment gone, literally. And this is from this point. This is where we started to unravel so long. This is where we started to lose our discipline. I understand. It's one of them ones, isn't it? Like we 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 literally lost our discipline. We missed the penalty. Unlucky. It's not like his penalty was poor. It was just. A good save from the keeper. Let's be real here. Four minutes later, Kwame Q, he got sent off for a poor challenge. It was worthy of a red card. I can't lie. I can't defend him. You know what I mean? I can't defend him. You're already on a booking already. Discipline. Discipline. He lost it. He got sent off. And then, a couple of minutes later, I don't know what Toure was doing. Toure, um, the, the one of the players were on goal for Equatorial Guinea, and the Toure just... Literally cacked him over from the back. And then in, in the Premier League, you're getting a red card for that, surely. Um, at first, I thought it was a penny. And to be honest, when I look at it, I'm 50-50 about that one. I felt like it should have been a penalty. It wasn't a penalty. The, the referee thought it was a penalty and then later brought it back for a free kick. Um, Toure only got a yellow card for that. I was so lucky he didn't get a red. It would have meant nothing, to be honest. But yeah, he got a yellow card. They took the free kick, they ran to the, the to their corner flag, the referee blew the whistle and Equatorial Guinea um, have gone through as runners up behind um, Ivory Coast who beat Algeria earlier as well. 
Um, listen, what I've got to say, what I've got to say, as a Sierra Leonean, me, I gladly, me, I gladly, today I gladly so. I'm so happy that I actually got to watch Sierra Leone play on Sky Sports. It's just like, think of Super Sports. Uh, like, if you if you got Super so in Sierra Leone, more time we have Super Sport there. But, I got to watch him, I got to watch Sierra Leone live. This is something that is really hard to do because we don't get that much exposure like that. We don't get the exposure that we truly deserve. We got the exposure in this tournament. We have shown that we can compete. I've been saying this before the tournament even started. We can compete, literally. We have played so well. No Serie Leone can tell me that we were useless. No one can tell me. If we, if you say that you're, you're not a Serie Leone, literally, you're not a Serie Leone, bro. You're probably, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take your shots. You're probably from Benin or something. I don't know. Literally. I'm saying that, I'm saying that with my chest, literally. Like, Serie Leone have made me proud. Like, as a country, it's a blessing to be a Serie Leone. Like, it's a blessing. This, that's my roots. That is my roots. Serial Long is in my flipping DNA. That is my blood. That is my country. Those players should not be ashamed of what has happened. They should not be sad. They should be proud of themselves that for the first time in 26 years, they made it into this tournament. The goalkeeper, Kamara, I believe he wasn't even born when Serenon last made it into this tournament. So that says a lot. He wasn't even born. We should be proud. I'm a proud Serenonian, you know. Congratulations to uh, Equatorial Guinea. Congratulations to Ivory Coast as well. The holders, Algeria, out, literally. But yeah, congratulations, literally, to Ivory Coast and uh, Equatorial Guinea. What we have to learn from this is we have to move forward with this. We have to use this as a motivation. If we want to play in big competitions like this, we need to use this tournament as motivation. So when we're trying to qualify again, we do it all over again, you get me? We've got a squad um, full of real talent. Uh, I'm not sure when the next African Cup of Nations is. I don't know, some players may not play again like um, Kai Kamar because he's 37. I don't know um, when the next one is, but listen, People that are bashing Kai Kamara need to behave themselves, literally. You're calling him all sorts of names because he's Mr. Penalty. Do you think he deliberately wanted to miss that penalty? Come on, man. You guys, some of you guys are funny, literally. But listen, man, um, this is like a video of me, you know, just doing my analysis of the Equatorial Guinea game versus Sierra Leone. We are out of the tournament. We leave with our heads held high. You get me? Don't forget it, literally. But listen guys, if you want more stuff like this, remember to subscribe to your boy. Remember to comment, like, share, all of that, all of that. Guys, I've been BK Vlogs, and I'll see you in the next video. Raider.